exactly what type of singer she is because I'm gonna have her tell you for herself tell you what well, you know what I mean so uh, she submitted her work to me and Karen said oh my god you really have to listen to this girl's voice now as you know when I interview someone I don't want to know anything about them because I want everything to be natural and smooth flowing and whatever reaction I have I want it to be genuine so my first question is going to be when did you start singing well, singing has always been something that I love to do, and you know, with singing, I think it all started with when I was a little girl. Mm -hmm. My mom always told me that, you know, running around the house, you know, from day one, she knew that I was going to be a singer. But for as long as I can remember, mm -hmm. it all started when I was six, six. years old. And now, started. was that because, I was getting ready to say, is that because from going to church? Yes, exactly. It all right, all so what was there. your favorite church song? Um, my favorite church song, it was in Haiti, it was a Creole song, but mm -hmm. it's um, one of the songs that says, you know, God, you deserve all the glory. Oh, okay, yeah. so where is your accent? <laughs> it's, it's gone. <laughs> it's that gone. Um, I came here at the age of 11, so uh -huh. um, went to elementary school. You know, they brought me a grade down, mm -hmm. so, which kind of helped me out with the accent. and. I had to learn English the hard way if I get bullying, you know. Oh, so I, it's that bullying mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. Yeah, so, so okay, so what was the name of the church song again? You Deserve the Glory. You des now, was that, of course, in your uh, native language or was it in English? In my native language. Okay, let's get, give us the chord. Lord, you deserve the glory. Oh, Lord, you deserve the glory. For all the things you do and all the things you'll always do, you deserve the glory. Well, I would have to say, if I had her voice, people around my house would have kept telling me, Would you stop trying to sing? Oh my god. I love it when I can put them on the spot and say, Sing for me. There's no effects, there's no nothing. That's how you know someone truly has a beautiful yeah. voice thank you so what type of songs do you prefer to sing um, is it still gospel music or have you changed well that? i do a lot i do the circular music or pop and r&b and also i do christian contemporary oh, the, now what is christian contemporary it's more of the ballet side the who ballet sort of the type of music slow you know, Christian. Oh, so you you yeah. mean like rap and I mean a little R and B Christian yeah, a pop, little bit. Yeah, Christian. Oh, so do, do you think I've often yeah. wondered, do you think people change that a little bit to get more people into listening to church music? I, I think so. Every now and then you have to tweak a little because you are dealing with the circular world mm -hmm. and another way for you to kinda of gain them to, you know, get the Christian word and music right. out, you have to kind of yeah. put that in there. So any talent shows? Talent shows of right now, no. What about in, have, in grammar school or high school? I have done a lot of um, talent shows back in middle school. Mm -hmm. At the age of 14, it really started, you know, being serious for me mm -hmm. for in terms of the music. Right. Um, we did about two talent shows. We, we did an album after school, after school program we had, we did this thing called the Groove Lab. We were able to write music, produce our own music, and mm -hmm. also recorded it. And we did make a, um, a CD out of it called mm -hmm. the JFK Groove Lab. And JFK Middle School, that's <laughs> where I went. Right. <laughs> and um, the great producer by that was um, Mr. Tucker. He Mr. was the Tucker. one that assisted us in doing all the after school programs. And we carry out two, fat, two um, talent shows. Okay, now, so school. right now, do you still, do you write your own music? I always write my own music. Yeah. Do you play any, not necessarily instruments, but can you play the keyboard? You can play whatever you want on the keyboard. I wish I could. <laughs> yeah. I wish I could, but unfortunately, you know, I just make the sounds in my head and I can tell a musician to kind of take it from there. 
but as far as music i don't and i really hope i did but yeah. i don't well I, i'm no one would ever claim you being a, a a great singer but what i used to do is i i write my own songs and the lyrics i would keep a tape recorder beside my bed mm -hmm. so if i'm sleeping or whatever if a melody comes in my head yeah. i would wake up put it on the tape recorder and then go yeah. back to sleep so oh. what do you do when you have a melody you know what it, i never really got a chance to record but it mm -hmm. always comes back it comes oh, back wow. so yeah. i know it's true when it comes back right <laughs> Some, out Me, of if i don't put it down on it it's gone forever <laughs> okay so where would you like your career to go what would you like to do well five years from now i'm really looking to get this music serious on the road i really want to see myself performing you know all over the world and mm -hmm. you know just basically basically influence other people's lives yeah. through my music five years from now okay so tell us uh some lines or the course of your just the course of the last song that you wrote my current song right now was inspired by my son it's called you're my everything oh how yeah. old is your son he's one month old he's what well, <gasps> see <laughs> this is dedication okay yeah. after a month she's still sitting here i i, I really admire that thank you yeah also <laughs> does he okay I, and they say that babies never forget their mother's voice so when you're singing to him what's the expression on his face the eyes his eyes are so watery you can just tell that he just captured by the voice by the mm -hmm. words and he'll just stare at me and his eyes is like this. <laughs> <laughs> so the ball out <laughs> did you sing to him while you he, he were pregnant i always did so he definitely recognized your voice yes, he, he does Oh, oh man! See, when I hear stories like this for like an itty bitty second, I wish I had a baby. But like I said, an itty bitty second. Okay. <laughs> now, when you were growing up, who do you think inspired you most for singing? Your mother, your father? I think it was my. It was either or. I think it was basically my situation. Yeah. You know, every you know, being a little girl, raising around and seeing other people going through things in mm -hmm. my country. I think I just used our circumstances or their situation and make it into music. Yeah. And I think it was that that inspired me. I wanted to do something. I said, you know what? I'm not going to sit here and just, you know, look at the world and do nothing about it. Mm -hmm. And it, it was my therapy through that was saying it. Oh. I think it was people around me who, around my you. current situations and at okay. the time. All right. Now, the little, the, the video that I saw um who's who produced it was it a little bit your idea or someone else's it was my idea mm -hmm. i got the musicians to pretty much play what was in my head mm -hmm. and that that's how it all went down but it was my idea i i sort of produce it there's a lot of different songs out there like you said there's gospels there's rap there's r&b there's blues there's all different kinds so out of all the music which do you think inspires you or really pulls the best performance out of you i will say r&b did uh, it for me yeah that's what really i just i started to discover um when i started to sing other than gospel mm -hmm. which captures me in church right but the most that i listened to was r&b at first when I started it and take it to the church but I would say R&B did it why do you think that is um because you know when my mom went out you know doing her business and she'll leave us with the neighbor and what they pretty much had on was R&B R&B so I would just go along with the songs with R&B for me I don't get it okay. um the lyrics is what disturbs me because you see a lot of little kids singing mm -hmm. R&B. The guy, to me, he got laid. He almost got laid. You stole my man. I stole him back. Yeah. You know, so those type of lyrics, I think is a really bad influence on little kids. So what type of lyrics do you... I'm more about uplifting people. Mm -hmm. And, you know, daily situations that I go through, if I think that it can touch people, touch other lives, then okay. that's what I'm all about. I'm all about lifting people in my music. Influence them okay. to be better at what they do. Now, I'm not, but there are some songs, I won't lie, I don't particularly care for the, maybe the lyrics, but I think mm -hmm. the melody and, and the, the music mm -hmm. uh, is, I mean, I really like that. But, but they try to say it's similar to blues. Do you think R&B and blues are similar? Um... According to my opinion, I don't think so. It's just think different. So I grew up blues on is, blues. Yeah, I, I don't think so. Yeah. It, it does. It, well, especially nowadays, with you know, you maybe you could have said that back then, mm -hmm. comparing to that. But for now, nowadays, R and B has evolved and just changed completely. You can't compare that to blues. All it's right, just now different. 
in terms of being a female singer, of course, some there are some artists out there that can't sing, but because of their appearance or because they have that good PR background, yeah. you know, helps them to move forward. But for someone with you that has a beautiful, oh my God, a beautiful <laughs> voice, you. and it's obvious that you're very, very talented, are, how difficult is it for you to get noticed or get someone to take you serious? It's very, very difficult because, especially when being a woman, mm -hmm. there's a give and take, you know, situation that you always face. And right. it's just a matter of time finding that one person who's very ethical in their business, what mm -hmm. they do, and understand that. Yeah. music is music and yeah you know and it's, it's just been hard for me mm -hmm. however um you know i'm sticking through it and eventually whenever the time is right the right person at the right time right you know to assist me and and further in my career yeah. definitely pull through well like i said i i don't have the the best voice and when i first started going into the studio the men didn't take me serious and, and, and then some of the men were unprofessional. So I pretty much taught myself how to play the keyboard, how to write mm -hmm. my lyrics. Uh, so I don't know if that's something that you might be interested in doing, but I found that once I was able to show, okay, I know what a, a track is, yes. I know how many beats, and then they take you a little bit more mm -hmm. seriously. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's something to consider. Yeah, I've always wanted to play piano. I mean, I tried, mm -hmm. but you know, it's when it's not a gift, it's something that you're still in. It, yeah, it's totally different. But I, you know, I'm always gonna keep trying. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you're in West Palm Beach. Yeah. Do you think that you're limited here, or if you move to Miami or South Beach? I am not limited, especially you know, getting this dream out there. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely very open to go out places, mm -hmm. not limited at all. So how are you using like the social media to get your your name out there? Um, as of right now, I didn't because I was, you know, pregnant now that I have a son, but mm -hmm. now that I'm definitely going to go out, I'm starting to work out with a couple producers. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely plan to do a couple photo shoots to kind of get the music out there, doing a the right. mixtape mix mm -hmm. and all that. Use Facebook. Facebook is a good resource for me right mm -hmm. now. I do have a music bit, um, page as well, mm -hmm. and it's pretty much promoting and going to um, certain bars. I know they play jazz there, um, especially with Charlie's bar. Mm -hmm. um, I'm working on that right now to kind of get myself involved. Open mic night every Tuesday, mm -hmm. just to kind of you know build my brand and get people to know me in the community. Now. What if you went back to Haiti today, and the, let's be honest, mm -hmm. would that accent come back? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> when she steps off the plane, I mean, what? I don't know. <laughs> can, can, you, can you even do, can you even sound? I, no, I can't. Oh yeah, my God. Sometimes I try to mimic my, you know, some people just like kind of get get to bother them, but uh -huh. I can't do it. No, I can't. Well, when I moved to to Rome, it was when I think Bush had just got to office and in uh, into office, and mm -hmm. the, they had sent a lot of troops over for the Iraqi war. Mm -hmm. So in Rome, they were beating up Americans. Oh my god! I became everybody but American. I was from Africa. <laughs> <laughs> I was from like, Haiti. I'm like, no, no. What, what, let me see if I can do. No, no. Uh, uh, me not. From America, I'm, 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 I, don't, I was just from anywhere. America. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> <Listen. laughs> okay. So, what advice would you give to other aspiring singers? Um, you know, just go for what you 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 dreamed of, what you mm -hmm. want to do, day and night. If you can stop thinking about it, it's definitely something that you should do. And always keep in your mind that there's nothing that you cannot do, and nothing is is impossible. You know, unless you acknowledge it to be impossible, then it is. But, mm -hmm. you know, nothing is impossible when it comes to your thought. So who do you think you inherited this voice from? I don't know. My I don't have any singers in my mother's side. I'm starting to think it's pro it probably came from my father's side because I do have two sisters from my father's side mm -hmm. who flirts with singing. They don't okay. like to sing, but mm -hmm. they do have a beautiful voice. Okay. So I'm starting to think that it, it definitely did came, came, came from my father's side. Your father's side? Yeah. Okay, now singing and then being in front of the camera, singing to make a video, mm -hmm. the first time were you nervous? 
No, I was I was actually elated <laughs> to be on the camera. I was like, yeah. let's do this. <laughs> Not at all. I wasn't. In fact, the the cameraman told me I smiled too much. <laughs> oh really? Oh my gosh, she was on something. No kidding. You were just no, happy, I was ready for it. I'm like, let's get this thing going. It yeah. Was, yeah, it was a very exciting. Same experience me. when you went to the studio for the first time. Yes. Yeah. Same thing. First time I went to the studio. You know, just. <laughs> hit the mic and the producer said don't do that <laughs> why would you hit the mic i don't know just to kind of do a sound check he was like don't do that there's little small cords in the mic you can dance yeah you can dance <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> oh so him just saying say uh testing testing one two three yes i'm like <laughs> oh my well um I would just like to say that I, I think that you have an amazing voice. Thank you. And that's one of the reasons why I selected you this oh, month. Thank you. And uh, I'm going to do everything that I can, of course, yeah. to make sure that um, everyone knows. And please, for God's sake, could you tell me your full name? Yes, I go by the name of Vanessa Cherry. It is. With a C and one R. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's very unique. Now, that's your real last name, Cherry? Yes, my real last name. Oh, wow. Do you get asked that a lot? No. I no? Don't. See, I'm always <laughs> the exception to the rule. All right, lady. Well, I want to thank you for stopping by and chatting it up with me. It was a pleasure meeting you, and I want that free CD when it comes out. Yes, thank you for having me as well. Absolutely. This is Miss Brage signing off. Ciao, ciao. You said you've been waiting for someone like me